because in none of the job portals there is a skill set called office politics had that been there i think then half of the people would have been hired hi i'm rajesh and welcome to another edition of blogging with rajesh g how are you guys doing today i hope all of you are doing great and i hope it continues that way you know my today's topic is about surviving office politics whether you like it or not office politics is prevalent in all organizations and i have seen people who have survived in the organization only because of office politics and they have got very good salary high good designations because they are good at it other than that they don't possess any skill and these people will always tend to stick in an organization for a very long term because they know they may not be hired in any other organization you might be wondering why because in none of the job portals there is a skill set called office politics had that been there i think then half of the people would have been hired so this is a skill set which is never mentioned but this skill set is a must for any employee working in any kind of organization in order to have a smooth sail because other the otherwise or in the absence of this your survival in the organization will be little difficult or tough because let me tell you everybody plays games in organization so you should also learn to play that and through now you'll be wondering what is this office politics office politics is nothing but creating negativity unhealthy work environment backstabbing and getting into dirty games to demean somebody or to you know tarnish somebody's reputation in the organization for the reasons best known to them and let me tell you the people involved in office politics will always be a hindrance in your career growth so you need to tackle them tactfully so that you can you know sideline them and reach wherever you want to reach so you know how to tackle such situation first is communication communication plays a very important role so always be clear about your communication because that is a foundation stone that you're laying down and secondly take some time to spend with your colleagues maybe over a coffee break or a tea break or some chit chat and if in case you realize there is a misunderstanding always take the first step to clear that misunderstanding because let me tell you if the misunderstandings are not cleared at the right point of time it can be very dangerous because you know people will start assuming things and assumptions are always dangerous it's always better to be in reality second is be neutral so any organization will have lot of groups these groups will be of people who share similar thoughts or interests so when a new joiny enters an organization these groups will try to pull that person towards that group because you know you are getting one more member and one most important thing is the moment you join a group you are restricted or your level of interaction is restricted to members of other groups so that is one of the reason that you should be very careful about before choosing a group i suggest you to be neutral reason you know when you are neutral you can interact to everybody irrespective of the group they belong to and secondly people will respect you for that because being neutral is not that it is easy it is very 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 challenging and if you have decided to take that path the moment you de- you declare you are neutral you get the respect but once you have decided to be neutral make it a point you are neutral till your exit from the organization third is professional attitude see when you are in an organization or during your working hours you should be extremely professional so when i say professional you should be mindful of your deeds as well as your words especially during an argument because it is at those moments that people just forget to filter the words which come out of their tongue and others will definitely make a note of it which 
may go against you in the short or in the long run because people will always remember only oh, you know what this person said this during an alteration or during an argument so please be mindful of that and second most important thing when somebody approaches you with their problem please listen to it patiently and give them suggestions if you feel you can and never ever indulge in spreading rumors and if somebody comes up to you and ask you to spread rumors tell them very clearly hey boss i am not involved in it and please don't approach me for such kind of activities because i don't think i fit into that the moment you have said it it's said and done and if you are carrying a professional attitude you know people will think twice before approaching you for such nasty deeds in the organization and your respect increases throughout the organization based on your professional conduct you know there is one most important thing which i would like to tell you is that it takes years to build trust but moments to break it so when an employee approaches you to confide something to you always remember this one statement because that is something very important because at times you may leave an organization you may join a different organization but the relation that the rapport you build with employees in an organization that is the only asset that you'll be carrying from an organization so i hope uh, this video was informative for you if that's the case like the video share the video post your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so until my next video bye bye take care and spread the power of positivity around you